ladies and gentlemen i welcome you once more to my youtube channel in case you are new here tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell in order to get a notification anytime we upload a new video meanwhile don't forget to give this video a like mm. drama being drama drama being drama Things are getting interesting. Yes. And I do know, and I know, the center cannot, lo cannot hold any longer. Things must disintegrate. Kila mutu lazima sasa chukwe njia yake. They told us reggae would stop. They did assure us that reggae would stop. But today, Leo he, they have seriously been embarrassed. IEBC today, in case you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, have forwarded 1.1 million signatures to the county governments. It simply means the process of the referendum has kicked off officially. It has kicked off officially. No doubt about that, no reverse gear. For those still dreaming, those still calling for consensus, those still saying reggae would stop or reggae will stop, they must come out of their cocoon of denial and accept reality. They must accept the fact that the train can now not be stopped. It's rolling and rolling very fast. If you stand on it on its way, it crushes you, ladies and gentlemen. This movement calling itself Hasla movement, or rather Tanga Tanga, they have done everything, ladies and gentlemen, to bring down this thing called BBI. They have always erected roadblocks at each and every stage this BBI passes. A few days ago, IEBC made a very big mistake or made some errors by publishing about 1 million signatures and then publishing in the dailies telling people to go and confirm or rather to verify whether those signatures are theirs and if they, if they, were, they are the ones who signed those signatures. That was a clever ploy or rather tactic by IEBC and Tanga Tanga to put brakes on this process. But I think they have just seen that the pressure is too much. Kenyans are waiting for this thing. Is Kenyans who are who wants to either pass it or endorse it, not IEBC. So IEBC thought they could derail the process. They have found that it's not as easy as they thought. Tanga Tanga thought they could stop reggae. They have just realized that this thing is unstoppable. Ladies and gentlemen, legally. Upon IEBC presenting this, the verified signatures to the county assemblies, the law stipulates that within 60 days, the county assemblies must be through with adoption or rejection of the signatures, after which it shall be forwarded to parliament for adoption, after which it shall go to the referendum. <laughs> so for those who thought reggae would stop please wake up from your cocoon of denial accept reality accept that this is a trend that cannot be stopped by anybody that aside ladies and gentlemen the drama surrounding Mike Sonko is still going on 
Mike Sonko is still throwing feeble and naive jabs. He has so far gone and leaked some for phone, phone call, some phone call conversation with our beloved president, Sister Urumge Kenyatta. Yes. So this man is still on a mad spree. He is getting madder, mad day, day. Every day, the, the degree of madness in this man is increasing. And I now agree with Moses Kure, even though he's also another madman, because madmen know themselves that this one Mike Sonko should be taken to a psychiatric hospital for a mental checkup, ladies and gentlemen. This man is surely mad. He is not okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have always maintained in this channel that you can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool them always. William Ruto's days are now numbered. William Ruto's days are now numbered. He has cheated the people for far too long. He cheated the people and incited the people against BBI. He has boasted of having numbers on the ground. This is now the time he has to prove those numbers of his on the ground or he shuts up permanently. If he has the numbers, let's see those numbers in the county assemblies. Let him mobilize all his troops, the numbers he has been talking, with, talking of. Let him mobilize his troops and they block this thing or rather they stop this thing in the county assemblies. We shall know he has numbers. And I doubt he has any capacity to do such a thing. After blocking or rather stopping reggae in the county assembly, which he will not, uh, he will not stop it, let's meet now on the ground. Wanaume ni onana kwa kiwanja, kumenyana kwa kiwanja, and I'm very happy about the development. Let this thing now come to the people. Mm. Let the people decide. We want to demystify this myth and this propaganda that has been circulating everywhere that people don't want BBI. This myth has to be, we have to demystify it. And we have to prove these critics wrong that actually 80% of Kenyans were just waiting to endorse this BBI thing. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto, if you can all remember, has been holding delegations in his current home and also in his rural Sugoi home. And he has been holding this dele delegation selectively based on ethnic groups, holding Nandi delegation, holding Luya delegation, and recently we had a by election in Kibra. And you saw the kind of ethnic mobilization Ruto, Ruto did in Kibra. He even went further and told us that in Kibra, the Luya community was the majority. That was Ruto himself who said with his own mouth. And he told us that Wajalu Kaziao ni kungua really. He told us with his own mouth. Today is telling us that politics of ethnicity imepitwa na wakati Kenya. He is now telling us that there is nothing like ethnicity in Kenya. Simply because he knows that for a very long time, this nation has been dominated by two communities. The Kikuyus and the Kalenjins. And he himself being a Kalenjin, a beneficiary of that dominion, he wants to shift away from his ethnic cocoon and whitewash the masses that there is nothing like ethnic politics. If there is one person in Kenya who strongly believe in ethnic poli who believes in ethnic politics, that person is none other than this thief, William Ruto. 
If there is an individual who believes in politics of ethnicity, that person is this thief. Him Kora Anajita William Ruto. For those who can afford to remember, and this one is in the in public domain. Ruto appointed all Kalenjin to cabinet ministries. Immediately they came to power in 2013. The slots he was given, he appointed all Kalenjins to those ministries. Now he's telling us that he's a hustler. Sisi Atuna Ukabila, we are hustlers. Take that simple lie to children. Danganya Totujinga, we are beyond that. And I'm happy that today Prime Minister Raila Moludinga met with all university students in the country and discussed the idea of being given a wheelbarrow. You don't go to university or you don't struggle too high or you don't struggle that much to get education only to be given a wheelbarrow. That's an anathema. It's not allowed in the modern society. That's not how to build a nation. A nation is built when our young men and women are equipped with skills. Skills to make those wheelbarrows. Skills for machineries and skills for other different projects. Not being given a wheelbarrow. That's a retardation. Ladies and gentlemen, there is so much propaganda that is going on, especially being spewed by these Tanga Tanga lunatics. They are saying, oh, Raila, alikatazwa kuingia state house, oh, Raila, mevukuzwa state house, all those is bullshit. The only person we know who is a person non grata in state house is this one thief we all know. He is a person non grata in state house. He is not a wanted man there. So maybe he went there and he was, <laughs> he was blocked so they think it's Raila. Raila and Nauru ni Mandugu, they are brothers. A brother can visit a brother anytime. So this propaganda of theirs, let them stop it. Raila and Uhuru will continue together, ladies and gentlemen. On the same note, let me talk to one person calling himself Dennis Itumbi. This madman here called Dennis Itumbi, he say Anna Nyuele, but he's confused. He doesn't know even whether he has a family or not. This madman who was snatched a lady by a prisoner. Somebody is in prison, but he's snatching you a lady. This woman here is not a man. Stop your propaganda, Mr. Dennis Itumbi. You spewed a lot of propaganda on your social media handles. Every now, every now and then, your Twitter handle, Facebook handle, all, all propaganda, spreading fake videos of violence. This has to be stopped, ladies and gentlemen. This year I should watch keenly this man called Dennis Itumbi. This man is spreading propaganda and inciting hate and violence. Ladies and gentlemen, I have always maintained in this channel that for you to attain power, never outshine the master. That's a law or that's a reality that has been tested for far too long, for centuries, and it has been proved to be right. You don't attain power by outshining the master. That's the first law of the 48 laws of power. Never outshine the master. You don't need to wait for 2022 to know that William Ruto is going nowhere. If you are a diligent student of history, you just know this man is pro most prob probably heading to jail. This man is most probably heading to committee, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a good student of history and a good student of political history, this man is heading to committee. Ladies and gentlemen, let me stop it there. I don't have much to say today. But in case you are new here, just as I've mentioned from the start, 
tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell in order to get a notification anytime we upload a new video. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. God bless Kenya. And before I forget, my president is going to Sagan, I think, on Saturday. I wish him well there as he meets his people from Mount Kenya. The mountain must be told the truth. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. God bless Kenya.